Oh. There it is. There it is. Okay. Can't you? You're can't you? No, you're the sun god. The, the sun, sun. The sun god. god. Yeah, sun god. That's right. right. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I am uh, the Sun Knight. Obviously. Uh, the avatar of Rey. Yeah. And it's so good to see you. Yeah. I've, it's my first day as the avatar okay. of uh, the Sun God. How's it going? Ask him it's everything. crazy. Yeah. I, do you hear the voices of Ask the Sun? Yeah, yeah, that's part of it. That's part of really, it. And it is a very sunny day, so that's, thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. And, uh, he I feel like the most terrifying thing is the bow tie. Really, yeah, that's what's the, always in yeah. style, right? Because <laughs> yeah. you know, you're always uh, dressed to kill. You got to. And um, yeah. yeah, I'm dressed to chill. Yeah, I that's, can see that. That's my superpowers. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. I have a sleeping disorder. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. Hello, and welcome to Staying Awake. <laughs> Ask him about his normal day. How does a normal day or night as the moon night look like? Well, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of murder. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. And uh, yeah, just jumping around, killing things, um, and then try to hurry back before the sun comes up. Right, yeah. right, because that would be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you gotta, and um, Steven's got to go to work, so you got to yeah, get up before yeah. you got to go to work. Like Ray is telling me, I would never ask that, but uh, he forced me to ask you. Um, you have like a mental health disorder. You have Stephen Grant. Yeah. Mark Spector. Yeah, maybe some other ones in there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, how would the nice museum guy Stephen Grant describe Mark Spector? That's an interesting question. Um, I think. Well, it depends where we find, at what point in the story we find him. At first, when he gets introduced to Mark Spector, I think he thinks he's a dick. I think he thinks he's like um, very um, mean to the people that are close to him. I think he thinks he's very dark. And, you know, Stephen is someone who desperately wants connection with people. And he can see that this person, Mark, all he does is push everyone away. So I think he finds him to be like a very negative aspect to himself and he wishes he didn't exist. We'll catch you on. You're bloody useless, Stevie. Steven. And how would Mark Spector describe Steven? Well, the way that Mark describes Steven is someone who is kind and deserving of living a good, normal life. And I think he starts to get more annoyed with him as Steven starts to take more, more control and more initiative. I think that really bugs Mark because Mark has a plan that he's gonna get everything done and once he gets everything done, then Steven can just live his life and Mark can go away and never has to know about the trauma and the abuse that happened. But that, you know, that doesn't end up happening. I can't tell the difference between eyes and dreams. dreams. <gasps> Thank you. Ask him if he's a lunatic. I can't ask that. That is rude. Do it. Uh, okay, uh, Ra wants to know if you are aware that the other gods think that you are a lunatic and they don't like you. Why is that so? Um, Moon Knight? Yeah. Uh, it's because Khonshu is, is not liked by the other gods. Khonshu is kind of like a, um, he, you know, he's like the punk rock god that's also not really paying attention, he's not really doing the things he's supposed to do, he's taking his own initiative, and so he really rubs the other gods the wrong way. Like, uh, I know you are never alone because you have so multiple characters, but there is Lila. Who is Lila? Ray wants to know. I don't know, maybe that's a spoiler, whatever. Lila's Mark Spector's... Yeah? Oh my god, you're alive! What's wrong with you, Mark? Why did you call me Mark? So, like I said, it's my first day as an avatar of a god. Mm -hmm. Are there any do and don'ts? Um, you know, try not to speak to your god in front of other people. Mm -hmm. You know, go to the bathroom if you gotta talk to your god. Okay. You know, try to find a private place mm -hmm. to do that. Um, it can really be upsetting okay. to people. Um, and, um, you know, try to be low-key as you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I think other than that, 
Okay, you speak to God. Do you have a, the, like a moon calendar too? I have like a day, night calendar. Yeah, calendar. I, I, can you remember actually what you do? No, no. I think that's that's his whole thing is he doesn't really remember. Mm -hmm. And part of that is has been his survival, you mm -hmm. know, being able to like compartmentalize memories that he doesn't want to deal with. So no calendars for no, him. No calendars for you. That must be very difficult. The voice is in your head. There's chaos in you. Good luck with Ra, <laughs> and uh, yeah. yeah, fantastic outfit Thank though. Thank you very much. Yeah. You can call me Sunny. Not All right, Sunny. Sunny. <laughs> All right. Good. It's an amazing show. Cool, man. Well, I'm so glad you yeah, liked I it. I saw four episodes. Great. It's amazing. You do good, bro. Good job. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Embrace the chaos.